tonight is August 16th, 2015. It is Sunday. Um, I usually work Sunday, so I'm kind of taking a break in my day to kind of talk to you guys, let you know a little bit what's going on in my life, and some tips and whatnot that might help um, anybody who is doing um, the whole weight loss thing. Losing weight is very, very difficult, especially for some people, well, for most people. Um, and for me especially, it became a problem when I was feeling like all I was doing was shoving the most horrible food in my mouth, like every day. And I wasn't paying attention to what nutrients were in that food. I was just comforting myself with food and thinking that that was okay and that I could go on like that. Um, eventually, I came to a point where I was um, 80 pounds overweight and very, very miserable, and I was feeding myself um, just to feed my emotions. I went to the extreme. I think I have talked to you before about the fact that I did have weight loss surgery. I had the lap band surgery, which basically means instead of them cutting my stomach, they put a little band around my stomach and they adjust it as needed to allow me to either have more food or less food. And right now my band is adjusted. I got adjusted last week. Um, I am adjusted at 10 cc's and I have an 11 cc band. I cannot go any tighter than what I currently am. Um, I have to be very mindful as far as like how much food I try to eat and the size of what it is I eat. So when I cut stuff, I have to cut it basically like if you're trying to feed like a child. Um, very, very small sizes so that it fits through my band. If it doesn't fit through my band, <clears throat> then um, I end up puking, which is not attractive whatsoever. And I'd rather um, avoid that altogether. So um, it's hard, and sometimes I do not pay attention, and I just think I can eat like a normal person, and I can't. So um, since the adjustment, I think I've gotten sick like three times. It's very, very miserable. It's, it's painful. It feels like someone's stabbing you when you get sick. And I need to try to avoid that if at all possible. So that's what's been going on as far as um, my adjustment goes. Um, I have really been focusing on the last couple weeks. Um, and I think I might have said this in a blog before about knowing where my food comes from. Um, especially since I'm a vegetarian, I want to know where my vegetables come from. Like, did it travel 3,000 miles and it was all full, full of pesticides? Or did it come from someplace local? So, I have been doing the Bountiful Baskets thing for the last couple weeks. This last week, I, I was silly. I signed up for the wrong, wrong location, so I didn't get a chance to go pick it up. So I just let them donate it. That's what they do. If you don't pick up your basket, they just donate it to whatever charity they're doing. And the town that I was supposed to travel to, which was 80 miles away, they donate it to the fire department. So they got some goodies. Um, it's kind of cool because I get to learn about all these new vegetables and fruits that I may not have had before. Or maybe I've had before and I haven't had them in that form. And the cool thing was, like, they've been doing, they've been doing a lot of prunes. And I'm used to the prunes that are sugary and dried and gross and just not good for you. I'm not we're used to fresh prunes, so I got to experience that. Those had become my snack. Like, if I wanted something sweet, I'd just go grab a prune. Um, there was um, some different vegetables that I got to try out. Um, since I didn't get to go last week and pick up my basket, or sorry, this week, because it was supposed to pick up Friday, um, I went to the farmer's market that's downtown from where I live, and it is way expensive. Um, I don't think I really got $60 worth of stuff, although I do have some soup in the fridge I'm probably going to eat for dinner um, that was homemade, like tomato basil soup that was really just freaking phenomenal. And the jar was like this big, and I paid 15 bucks for it. And the jar itself, if you had to buy the jar by itself, is like four bucks. So I think I paid like eleven dollars for twenty ounces of soup. 
so homemade soup. Okay, I'll I'll buy into that. Um, got a whole bunch of like weird vegetables that I wanted to try, and one of them is called a. I'll tell you right now, it's really weird. It's on my Facebook. Give me a second. I'm sorry. It's called. Probably saying this like all kinds of wrong. Roman Esco broccoli, and Roman Esco broccoli is kind of like a, a combination of like broccoli and cauliflower like mixed together. And you basically you can cook it however you want. The way I'm going to cook it is I'm going to roast it in the oven because then I won't be adding. Um, I'll have a little bit of oil, but I won't be adding like a whole bunch of sauces and stuff like if I was going to be cooking it on the stove, which is something, like I said, when you have, um, when you're dealing with weight loss and especially if you've had a surgery, you start to realize like all this extra stuff that you add, like you add sauces to like everything, um, when you could have a much healthier experience by roasting it or grilling it on the uh, grill outside, but even if it's small grill, Small girls work just as well. So I'm um, going to try that tomorrow, unless I decide to go ahead and cook it tonight, so I won't have to cook it tomorrow, but I'm not going to eat it tonight. Um, as you can see, I colored my hair. I was feeling a little um, happy and feeling like I needed some color in my life, and this is how it turned out. My hair's being weird, and I'm trying to fix it, and it's not working. So, yeah. So, anyways. Um, not a bad experience. I'm probably going to keep it like this for a while. I like it. It's very bright and colorful and happy, and the more hapful, happy and joyful things that I can surround myself with, the better. Um, what else has happened? I... I've started to get rid of toxic people and toxic things in my house, so if it reminds me of somebody, then I get rid of it. Um, been really good about taking care of the husband. He has been wonderful, and I'm not even sure if he's going to watch this, but I'm just going to say it anyway. He is fully supportive on the journey that I'm on, and one of the things I'm having the hardest time doing is finding recipes all this stuff that I want to cook and so if he sees a recipe even if I don't have the thing he'll send it to me and it'll inspire me to make more stuff so that I can eat better um, so bravo for having a relationship where someone believes in you um, I'm really missing the artist community I haven't been going out a lot and doing that I need to start doing it again um, I'm going to go to my, I'm going to say it's my first because I have not been to a support meeting since my surgery. Um, I've been to two, and I got my surgery two years ago. Um, so my first meeting in almost two years, I'm going to go to on Wednesday. So I can kind of like bounce some ideas off people and see what they say about like, you know, things I could try, things that I may not be doing right. Um, this is driving me crazy, so I'm trying to fix it, and everything's backwards in the can, so it's not working. Okay, so, <laughs> I've been messing my hair the entire time I record this. Um, so, other things that I'm not supposed to be doing, and I'm going to tell you I am doing it, and it's helping me get my water in, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, I got a new tumbler, and I got it off this website called... Etsy is E-T-S-Y dot com. Amazing things you can find on that site. There's everything from clothing to household gear to jewelry to dishes to, if you can think of it, you can probably find it. Um, and this one says, unless you puke, faint, or die, keep going. It's a Jillian's Michaels one inspired um, tumbler. So I've been sipping all my water out of that. I just got it in the middle yesterday. Um, and then I started wearing my bracelet again, and my bracelet says one bite at a time, one decision at a time. 
So it's mine. It's kind of reminding me to take everything in and um, realize that you know you, every decision you make is a new decision. It's not just um, something that just comes to you. You have to think about it every single time you do it. Okay, I'm going to eat. Um, three scoops of ice cream. Okay, is, is that the right decision? No. Okay, I'm going to eat two cups of rice and five minutes. That's another decision you have to make. Everything you do is one more decision. So it's kind of reminding me again to get back on that bandwagon. Um, let's talk about work and then I will probably let you guys go. So, work. Work has been fucking, oh, I just cussed, sorry. Um, has been fucking phenomenal. Like, I've been struggling for like weeks to actually get what would consider, most people would consider a decent paycheck. And I have been, for lack of a better word, blessed with the most amazing people that have been talking to me, that have been sending me messages, that I have had regular conversations with outside of work, um, that have just been inspiring. Now, with that comes extreme work attitude. And when I say that, it's like I'm working how many hours have I put in this week? I'm on 54. So um, I've been working 54 hours a week or more. Actually, I think I worked 54 last week. And I made more this week than I did last week. So I can't guarantee, oh, if I work 30 hours, I'll make X number of dollars. I just never know where it's coming from. But mind you, I take breaks. Um, I may log 54 hours but I may take off for two hours and go do something and then come back in and then log back into work and then work for another six. Um, I have a crazy work schedule right now. I'm working until 2 a.m. in the morning. So if you see me online, say hi. Because <laughs> I might say hi back because I really like the interaction with people. Um, yeah, life is good. Life is really good, and I cannot ask for a better group of friends and people and, you know, um, work and, you know, the way I'm living is really good for me. Um, I will say thank you for everybody who has um, been telling me that I look good lately um, or that they see that I'm happier because that's really what the idea is. I feel better, I look better, I am happier, and life is just great. So, um, if you have any questions, and you are seeing this on Facebook, because I'm going to post it on my Facebook, um, then feel free to ask me, or if you're just a friend and you happen to have my email, then, you know, ask me again. I will tell you all about Bountiful Baskets, I will tell you all about the process of getting weight loss surgery. Um, I will tell you what you should and should not be doing. Um, I've been doing it for a while, so I'm pretty, pretty good about it. And um, I'm hoping that everybody had a great week and that it continues into Monday. And I know Mondays kind of suck for most people, but if you wake up and you do things that make you happy, like now I'm drinking out of like vintage teacups every Monday um, or every day, then it will continue and you'll be happy and everything will be grand. So talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.